Today we'll talk about how to keep emotions out of trading. Things you can do on a daily basis to reduce emotions in trading, to kind of become a better trader, and hopefully reach some consistency with your trading. Let's dive right in. All right, so if you ask people who are close to getting profitable in trading, they have a pretty good strategy they follow, they have these things in place, they know what they should be trading, but they can't seem to follow it. And that's because they let emotions drive their trading and drive their decisions on a daily basis. Not a good and efficient way to become a profitable trader. So what are some things you can do to keep emotions out of trading? Well, first of all, trading low size. Now, a lot of people are trading way bigger size than they should, and that's why they have emotional issues where they kind of feel like they should get out of the trade now, they feel they should do something different, all because they try to risk too much in their trade. They try to get to a goal faster, they want to get to that 20% a month, and because of that, they risk a lot of money on each trade, and every single move against them feel like a paper cut. They want to get away from it. They want to be able to close their trade break even. They want to be able to move to take profits faster, and that just makes them not follow the process at all. Which brings us to the second step, which is having a defined process for everything you do. That means you're not just your trade, like you, you should have, of course, a strategy, but also a process for how you journal, how you review your trades, a process for how you show up every day. Are you showing up like just you wake up, then you go out your chart, then you kind of start trading? Is that how you do it? Or do you have a better process to do it? Do you kind of go through some habits first, then you look at the chart, then you do a first review, and so on before you actually, before you actually start to trade? These things should be planned out because then you are able to follow on them and it's more consistent. And whenever you put in consistent actions, you're more likely to get consistent results in the end. And that's very important. The next thing that really matters is doing a self checkup every morning. So every morning before you start to trade, ask yourself, how are you doing today? Do you have any emotions coming up? Do you have anything that could affect how you will trade that day? The same way pilots think about these things before a flight, they think about how they stepped last night, what things they've done, what things could affect their flight today. Traders should be doing the same thing. They should be actually sitting down thinking about what things could affect them. Do they have any pressure from their family or from their spouse? Anything that could affect how they will perform today? Anything that could make them stressed out? These things should be taken care of first before you actually get to trade. It's a lot easier to just say, oh, that day I cannot trade because I have too much pressure or I just don't feel good about it. Oh, I'll just maybe trade reduced size as opposed to trying to fix emotions when you're in a trade. That just doesn't work out well. These things should be planned out beforehand. And then when you actually go on the chart, you should be ready for trading and have barely no emotions. Now. I want to make it clear though, because emotions are not something you can just control. You cannot just say, oh, okay, you cut emotions, that's done. We go on the logical from now on. That doesn't work out. Emotions will come up and the other key next is how you will deal with them. What things you will do to deal with your emotions. And my trading career really took a big jump when I started to understand that emotions usually mean something. They are a symptom for something else that you haven't prepared for in trading. For example, if you are getting in the market, then you start to get all stressed out about like a trade that you have going on because it's election time and there's things happening out there in the world. And then you kind of want to close the trade faster or you kind of do stupid things with your management. And you have these emotions of like stress, you're not sure what's happening, you are uncertain. These might simply be because you've never traded elections before. And it's just your body or your mind telling you you gotta work on practicing these kind of elections or these kinds of markets until you get more confident with it. Or let's say you take a really big trade that's that's having like a double risk than what you are usually taking. Then you all feel like stressed out. You feel like, oh, you cannot make it or something. That again is your emotion telling you you shouldn't be trading with that size. Or maybe if you want to do it, you should actually work out how to do it. And you should practice more that size because you're not used to it yet. If you feel like you cannot make it in trading, like you feel discouraged after a losing trade, that then that could simply be your mind telling you you got to actually create a process and have something in place that you can just follow and that you that you test beforehand. That's something you just like randomly trade one day and you see a strategy on YouTube and then just take trades. It should be where you actually kind of have a, have a plan and process beforehand that you've tested and then your emotions will kind of go away once you have that in place. So don't underestimate emotions. They are a good tool. They help you in some ways. Now, if they are hurting your trading, if they don't allow you to trade consistently or they make you not be profitable, you gotta figure out exactly why what can you do about it? And usually it's a symptom for something else in the background you gotta fix. Now, of course, there's a few things you can do like reducing size, like having a defined process, like doing a self checkup every morning to help you to not have emotions interfere with trading. If you wanna watch more videos about emotions and mindset, check out this playlist over here. YouTube and I think you would like it a lot because it goes into a lot more emotional trading issues and things you can do to, to actually build the mindset of a profitable trader. So check out this next. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done yet. And I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.